Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We have a very special guest with us today, Mr. X. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. I can't even <laughs> tell you. So. Like, it, it is good to be back. Yeah, Let's that's crack it to another one. Always. So, uh, so, oh, the, so the Saudi government bought the PGA. Did you hear that? I saw that, yeah. Look, so they started a rival golf league that ruffled everybody's feathers. And then the PGA sold out to them. Now they own the whole thing. So wow. was it the, the PGA sold to them? It wasn't PGA bought LIV. Is yeah, LIV right? bought the PGA. Wow. And they all own everything together now. So is that, wait a minute, that's that's actually pretty major. Oh, that's huge. Because a lot of guys were leaving PGA to go play well, for well, LIV because well, of the money. What they did. Oh, because the Saudi will throw money. Like, like, the, like WWF does like 10 events a year or whatever, and they make almost as much as they make for the entire TV contract in the yeah. United States for 10 events. Yeah. Just because the Saudis have so much money, they're just like, just throw it, bags. Well, and you think about it, it's a genius like business move, right? So they're... They really went in there. They stripped out all the big, as many big assets as they could out of the PGA, right? Like all these players, they pulled That's them into cool. LIV. They bought them. So, they lo so the value of the PGA went, went. way down. Right? Yeah, and then they're like, oh, here. And well, they're like, now we can buy you for one scraps. third what we were going to pay, we would have had to pay for you otherwise. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Guess, yeah. It's, I, that, I mean, yeah, it's ruthless. I, I mean, I, when it comes to like the way the Saudis do business, it tends to be pretty ruthless from what uh, so all, all I, the stories you hear. I have to say, is that is is Saudi, is that a Saudi Arabia Muslim country? Just asking it for is. a friend. It is. Okay. Yeah, it is. All right. Um. Well, the real question is, what does this mean for the rest of for the PGA in the future? That now it's controlled by the Saudi government, but the Saudi it, Investment Fund. Well, but is it still going to be centralized in America? Are they going to have? Uh, obviously, they're going to have events in their home country. Obviously. Yeah. They. They. Well. And these golfers you, are going to make a hell of a lot more money. That is. That is another thing. Probably, yeah. I mean, I, I guess they're probably going to try to do whatever F1 does, right? Because that's the other big international kind of, you know. They'll do all over the world. Because PGA didn't really FIFA. do all over the world. They did kind like, of, but not really. If you, it's like U.S. and England. And, yeah, now and they'll is, probably play Scotland. everywhere. But is, is, is LIV, are they on the same level like I that? mean, they are now. I mean, obviously, <laughs> they have money is not a, a question. I mean, you steal the top stars of any sport, you become legit. But the PGA, PGA has been around for forever, and they not, they're not broke either. So I'm just saying it's like if they're they broke were, in. If, if they weren't doing these uh, worldwide events already, what's the incentive to do it now? Now well, they're the monopoly. Yeah, but who cares about golf outside of America? Oh, oh. Of people. well, it's not even an American sport. It's a Scottish sport. Uh, that's very true. It's, it's very international. England and they do World Cups and things I, like that. I think it's in the I think it started in the Olympics at the last one or in the next one. They're going to have golf in the Olympics soon. Oh, are they? I, I, they're, they're, they either already did or they're going to. I remember okay. hearing about that. Okay, okay. I find golf to be such an interesting sport because it's it's like you could be the best golfer in the world and then still play like ass mm -hmm. like one day and it ruins your whole tournament. Like, So you can win... 40 tournaments in the year, but like the championship game, like, like you got a store, a sore ankle and like, then you do ass and you aren't the champion for the year. It's like, it's takes weird. A, it takes a lot of mental fortitude because events are not just a day or a couple hours. Yeah. Or it's almost a whole week. Of, yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. days of the same course over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. And, and straight and concentration and, a, you know, a round is four or five hours, right? Exactly. Like and there's like assholes in the crowd screaming at you now. It's like turning into like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Jackass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a. That's that was, so that's so weird, man. I'm like, and I don't know how much did it say how much they bought it for? I don't remember. No. I did. I didn't. I saw the headline. And I was like, oh, that's big news. And I was like, but I don't care a lot about golf. So if I they, would like to know how much they spent. I wonder if they got Tiger. Well, I mean, it's, well, what they got is the tournaments, right? Yeah. So if Tiger wants to make money, he's exactly. going to have to play. In a yeah, they got the LIV. name and all the all the contracts with like uh, with Pebble Beach yeah. and all St. George, St. Andrews, all those different courses. Exactly. Um, I hope they bring back Tiger Woods Golf for EA because that was a good game. <laughs> I would like that. That was a fun game to play back in the day. So uh, Prince Saudi guy, I don't remember your name. <laughs> Please bring it back for all the <laughs> 05. You're asking. Take your... away. You got to take out, take out the gradient greens. You got to bring back the like 
10 foot long, seven foot wide one. We all know. If you know, you know. <laughs> I, did, I did hear that the Saudi princes are big fans of the Crazy Down podcast. <laughs> so, I, so hello, if you could send us tickets too, that'd be fantastic. Tickets? I'll come perform for you live. At I, yeah, your, we'll come. We'll yeah. come. palace. Yeah, if yeah, that's what it's exactly. Like. Sure. Send me a private jet, man. I'll come. I'll yeah, come. land it right in the Crazy Town tarmac out here. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, we got planes coming in constantly, so we might as well just have another one on the boat. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Our boat has the tarmac on it. That's, yeah, that's what right, I meant. That's right. Well, you got to take the helicopter from the boat to the yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> helicopter. It's complicated, but so, we'll, we'll yeah. figure it out. We'll figure it. out. We'll get the details down. But I'm uh, yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, you just let us know that you need us. Yeah, let us know and when and where we'll we'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you you guys turn really fast. Turn what? Really, really fast. Pepsi. Well, you, Choice of the next generation. What? You don't have you don't have an issue at all with the fact that the Saudis just brought the PGA from America. Uh, I, well, I don't. I well. Here's the question I have for you: Who owned the PGA before? I don't know who owned the PGA. I, I was actually looking that up. I don't know either. Like I, I'll bet you it's a consortium of people and Mr. G A investors. <laughs> Peter Ga P owns Peter Ga, yeah. Peter could be, Ga, he, could be Peter. He could be. It's usually a Peter involved. Uh, Ron Jeremy probably. Ron Jeremy. Oh, he's in jail for rape. Oh, well, is he? That's, that's a not porn a star is in jail. Yeah, for rape? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Got in trouble for raping really people. Okay, sexual assault. Yeah, he's in jail. Was yeah. that dude not getting enough? Like, like what? Why was? I it? mean, he's a. I mean, he was in the. I mean, he, he was talking about when that guy was in porno. It was extra creepy. Yeah, yeah that's true. I that's mean, true, that was yeah. like way back in the day. Like that was put a, something in your drink. Days. Well, do you remember when they like when Ron Jeremy like was like mainstream for a hot minute? Like, oh, yeah, he, he was, was on like VH movies and stuff, stuff. late nineties, yeah. and like oh yeah, he 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 like had like a, a second coming. No pun intended. Hey oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and he was like, yeah, he was like acting a little bit, and like he was all like whatever, and then they're like, he was on a reality show on VH1. I remember. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it was when they he, did those surreal life or whatever, and it had like all those like, like B list celebrities, yeah. and they all like, or no, he was on Celebrity Rehab, I think too. Yeah, well, I think he's been on several of them. I guess now he's in Celebrity Jail. Yeah, <laughs> says ever. You know what's jail. funny about Celebrity Jail? It's real jail most of the time, unless you're. <laughs> Let your Jeffrey Epstein didn't oh, work for hey him. Oh. Out. Hey oh. oh, he's not in jail at all. Though. He wasn't not a anymore either. Yeah. He wasn't really a celebrity. I mean, to some people, he was. Nobody. <laughs> Those people need to be there with him. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's like, I can't wait to see that new Epstein miniseries that's coming out. It's a good they point. put one of them out. They, I would watch that actually. Yeah, you know, but they're not gonna. No. Oh. Why would they put one out about a guy who killed himself? Dude, Just Jonas. saying, Jonas. Well, I was gonna say, why would they put one out who's like, you know raping kids but you know if you yeah, yeah. If you want if you that's what you want to draw the line it was on. a joke about <laughs> it was a joke yeah. about messing with kids no 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 <laughs> oh, man no okay. it's just interesting like with him they never even like all it's funny that it's never come out anyone who dealt with him it's so oh, funny they never find any of his clients yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're yeah they uh, don't exist he was the only one I wonder how much uh how much manpower they're really putting into finding like those individuals None. Well, given who his friends are, I'm yeah, I'm guessing it's right around just a little below zero. Yeah, they took that right book now. and they were like, oh, let's throw that in the like, fire. Like, oh, we lost it. Oh, no, it dropped it in the toilet. Because and... I'd like to think that there's like some organization that's like, oh, my God, this man, you know, he did some awful things 30 there's... years ago. We need to bring him to justice. Well, there's, we, there's we all know the government can't be bought. So yeah, th there's there's organizations out there that like put in tons of manpower and woman power to like stop someone from like littering and you're saying that like this not isn't really. enough of a cause to like nah, put money really. into not really there not, are two man There's i mean look dude if i go out there and litter do you think like somebody's gonna hit me up 20 years later and be like i saw that no but they, i guess rapper. my point is people put resources into all sorts of shit like save the animals yeah but like I but see, this I dude is out here Jenna. selling minors to people and they're not trying to find out who his clients were that's fair <laughs> I, I, that's fair is that i could i could see it being somebody's passion product project you would think but it turns out when when they're really wealthy and you connected. stand up to the the, the, the the people that can do a lot of harm Pat, to you. passion only gets you so far you know yeah they Can't. do that uh they do that deep harm it's a different kind of harm it's not about it's not about like hitting you in the face it's about like you're gone where'd you go i don't know who somewhere who are you talking about yeah, who is that, that no he doesn't exist i don't even know who you're talking about anymore made him disappear yeah you know sleeping with the fishes see <laughs> <laughs> Cement cement shoes for a uh, hydrochloric acid. 
Is that what happens? That's how you do it. Oh, is that okay. how you dispose of, of bodies? That's, is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Oh, interesting. You need a lot of it, though, like a drum. Yeah, you got to have a fake like drum. drum of that stuff. Yeah. Right? I'm sure they sell plutonium in every drugstore in 1985. <laughs> yeah. But if in, you want to get messy, you chop the body up and you feed it to the pigs. But, you know. Hey, man. I saw that movie, too. What movie was that? That was uh, that was not Lockstock. It was the other one. It was Snatch. Oh, yeah, yeah you fed him to the boars. Yeah. Anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. What a happy one. Uh, <laughs> for Jonas. TNT. And and Mr. X. Yeah, go to the crazy We out.